so in the real world saga design pattern okay you can say it's the same thing okay only thing that you think think of the complete problem now um we can use things like two phase commit okay two phase commit i told you about two phase uh, commit you people have to okay guys one uh, important uh, thing just uh, before we get into saga i want you to note down few points okay which i found from this team about like it will help it will be helping you uh, in your in your entire like life career and just for the case of uh, getting knowledge okay for learning please note down these terms okay somewhere and just you, if you spend one hour two hours you will be able to understand that and if you get a liking if you have passion go and explore more okay i want each one of you to go through solid solid design principles s o l i d it's very important okay so that solid design principles going to help you uh, to correctly understand systems design systems build systems it's not just you understand just you uh, know the acronym and expansion okay because you people have got 5 plus years of experience you will be you are already following all things which are oops and solid but that acronym expansion is not the only thing you you have to know the acronym expansion but also know what is each of these terms correctly okay in your java code you have to understand and shown as o l i d uh, this is what what is the meaning of s o l i d okay so solid is one term you write down please uh, use your time okay the other thing was two phase commit i am i request you to find out what is two phase commit okay if you not even understand visualize it okay now you know that micro services so visualize what is a uh, two phase commit uh, please know what is the meaning of basc okay it means basc which means uh, basically available soft state eventually consistent okay i'm going to put this terms into the chat box Design principles, okay. Um, base, okay. Um, and then we have more. So, put in those terms there. Please spend your time to know more about them, more about these things. So it will it will help you improve overall in terms of being a software engineer, software in terms of architecture, and then correlate back to Microsoft's architecture. Okay, so <coughs> going back to Saga. So when you go to use uh, Saga uh, design pattern, we have to now think of the problem uh, which we just spoke about. Okay, what are we? Whenever we say we are going to sync the uh, database in a shared in a database per service architecture okay um, okay in this one when when you're going to uh see the database this this actually is a basic form of saga design pattern okay but it does not stop the saga design pattern doesn't stop at that okay you same thing what we saw in the diagram in the diagram is shown in a different way now what is going to happen in saga design pattern we will talk about various other things um and this this is one is to one correlation with microservices only uh, primarily meant for the purpose of microservice architecture so what is going to happen is that let's say once one once one uh, <coughs> you know in invocation of uh, microservices, I, I I say that when I'm when I'm invoking one microservice one to microservice two, okay. There are things that there is uh, something fails, okay. So the saga design pattern, like when combined circuit breaker kind of technologies, we can keep on retrying, okay. Uh, so that falls in the area of circuit breaker. So one is enablement and one is the actual uh, uh, kind of you can see enforcement in terms of database. So if you if you say that i want to retry i want to uh fall i want to fall back or something okay um and i want to exponential back, back off so all these things will fall under the area of um it will fall in the area of uh, circuit breaker okay and you can combine that with saga but then when when you're going to use at the application level you know business use case okay now what happens i am i am having an um 
inventory management service and i i, I update something uh, in the database i update value uh, quantity from 14 to uh, sorry 0 to 1 now that message uh, currently uh, the database of order management is different okay now if if i have to i have to go ahead and update i will to uh, this this entire transaction okay this entire transaction let's say the idea of updating one in the inventory is successful only when the value is there in the inventory database and in the order service order service database in that the tables are called product product data product inventory tables okay product inventory has to be updated quality has to be updated to one otherwise the entire transaction fails now this this is a how distributed transaction okay can can anybody tell me what is like a simple definition technical english definition what is a transaction any of you what is the meaning of transaction database transaction transaction what is the meaning of it Yeah, you know it. Come on. In simple terms, what is transaction? You might be using it, right? Heidi Pi, Hibernate, uh, JDBC. Yeah. So transaction in the sense like uh, moving from one account to another account, like that. Mm, yeah, but yes, that's that's right. But can you do it? Can tell me in abstract way, like what is the definition? What is it is correct, but in a in a definition way, like a uh, when I talk, when I tell you about transaction, what comes to your mind? So the process of we are uh, moving to one place to another place. Oh, or we have. Okay, that's okay, but in a more abstract way. So it's a, in a way it's okay. Okay, so it just means in a very simple terms, a single unit of work. Okay, a single unit of work. I I had expected the developers to answer it because they might be using rollbacks. Very often they would have come out to roll back and commit. All of you might have computer science background, would have heard of rollback commit right many times. You might have used that as database developers. Anyway, single trans single unit of work is transaction. Either we do it or we don't do it. Means everything happens or doesn't happen. That is what a transaction is, right? So now I'm saying distributed transaction. This means that the servers who are going to do the business operations are distributed. So, but I'm having a transaction. Yes, I need to run on server one and server two. Only if both succeed, then the entire transaction succeeds. Otherwise, it's a failure. So when such thing happens, okay. Now let's say data I updated database of inventory management. And in this transaction, in the distributed transaction, I updated the um, I updated the um, quantity as one in the um, inventory database. I update to one. But when I'm going to order a uh, service, somehow it's down the failure. Okay. Now this is a distributed transaction. I don't want this transaction to succeed. <coughs> so what I'm going to do? If it was the same server where I'm doing the transaction, it was very easy for me, right? I roll back. And then automatically the uh, whatever the whether it's JDBC or Hibernate or whatever database involved with, take care to not commit the database, not commit the data in the database. But in this case, what is going to happen? I have to do something because I know it's a failure. Now the service to the order micro service is not going to update the database. Uh, because it's down, it's down now, permanent it's a permanent failure. So now when that is going to happen, I have to roll back that transaction locally in the in the uh, inventory uh, microservice. Okay, like in this case, you see there's order and customer. I'm just saying I'm just saying the example to inventory and uh, inventory and uh, order. Okay, so when this thing when this such a thing happens, what is what is going to happen? Uh, I will have to issue something called as compensating transaction so that rollback of transaction locally okay is called as compensating transaction so saga design uh, pattern allows us to 
kind of build there, there are various frameworks okay which implement saga framework uh, which implement the saga pattern so um uh so it, it, it is like uh, there there is something called as camel saga pattern okay axon saga pattern uh, camel saga framework axon saga framework um and they have popular popular names okay maybe you can note them down camel saga axon saga and um, in aws world amazon web services there is a, uh, a specific thing called as aws step functions step functions are a, are a workflow but they allow us to build saga pattern okay very elegantly um and then uh, if you if for the organization you're going to uh, build saga pattern you can evaluate i mean there will be some evaluation phases you can choose camel saga axon saga or if you're building aws step uh, world you might be you can use aws step functions so real world problem like whether you're a bank or whether you're a retail company you will keep coming back to saga pattern okay that that will be the one important thing a lifeline of your data management most of the times okay most almost most of the times you'll have to implement correctly database uh, data management pattern saga okay and that will allow you to uh, maintain your data in sync so a compulsory transaction so what it meant is that inventory in a in a inventory management uh, uh, case my inventory management updated the uh, quantity of product one in its database and then it sent a message to uh, order management that you update the quantity to one in your database okay but got no response because there was permanent failure it's not able to serve the request so because of that reason now what happened uh, we what we did is that we uh, we rolled we, we have to roll back that commit that we had done in the inventory management SQL database. So how we'll do that rollback is by issuing a compensating transaction. So that is where uh, the saga pattern will uh, will invoke the we we have we have called this to some saga framework. Okay, we configured this entire mechanism to a saga framework. Uh, then when when it found out that it's not responding in, in uh, let's say we're expecting a message in thirty seconds, in twenty seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, and it never gave back the message. We're assuming that it has failed, the transaction has failed, okay? And, uh, or it, it definitely gave them, uh, there's a mechanism which is there, okay? Some circuit breaker mechanism or a fallback mechanism which reported that service is down. So when, it, when we came to know either it is total failure or not get the response in, in time, we are going to roll back the transaction locally. So that is where, under this circumstance, where the uh, compensating transaction will come to the picture. Now here, what I've shown to you, is called as in the diagram is saga choreography okay um, uh, uh, what exactly like each of the step means is whatever i explained to you in uh, the inventory and the order management case step one step two step three step four step five okay and that link on the top that is where this diagram has been taken i mean it's a standard site the microsoft.io site which will which is um, uh, which will which will explain to you in more detail it'll have text of all the things, I mean, in terms of the um, understanding, you can read there. Okay, uh, whatever I explained, you will have it in the text there. Okay, it will mention about compulsory transactions. It might talk about retry and fallback. Okay, and it might talk about exponential. But that that things called as compensating transaction. That fallback is a different uh, thing. But compensating transactions used to reverse the. We'll call a specific function, a specific service, and that will make sure that the transaction is reversed. So it will go back to its product database, the product uh, service, inventory service, and change the product quality to zero. So and it, later maybe it will give it will give message on the UI who is updating the inventory. Maybe it's internal, some agent is there, some representative is there who's doing this, and he'll get a message. Uh, sorry, uh, the order microservice was down, order service is down, we cannot update it. Okay. Or it may give the message, sorry, uh, the system is currently uh, unavailable. And please try later, those kind of things. Okay. So that is that is the idea of having a saga choreography. Uh, 